recently gotten all of the seed catalogs that I ordered in the mail. I've gone through one and I've made a list of all the seeds in, these ca in this catalog that I wanted to buy. And not just wanted, I planned it out based on the map of my garden. And afterward, I went in and I found out that that was about $250 worth of seed. That's a little outside my budget. I realized that this is not how I buy seed. I don't just look at the catalog and pick out a bunch of seed because it comes out to be $250. Here's some realistic ways that you can actually save a lot of money on your seed and not just Spend all your time making this big old list that comes out to be a ridiculous price. That's not realistic. So the first way that I save money on seed, which is pretty obvious, is that we save a lot of seed as we grow it. We didn't grow very much last year, but we still managed to save quite a bit of seed with very little effort. So the main way that we save money on seed is that I buy it in bulk. A lot of feed stores and nurseries actually sell seed in bulk. So you can buy things, especially the things that you're going to be direct sowing in bulk, like beans, carrots, things that corn, things you're using a large volume of seed, and seed potatoes are also available in bulk. Also grass seed, if you happen to be buying grass seed, if you just need a patch, a lot of places sell grass seed in bulk. Another way I save money on seed is just by not buying it from the catalog. Like I said, a lot of nurseries sell seed in bulk, but a lot of them have a really wide selection of different seeds from different companies, and they're the same price as the catalog most times. The main way you're gonna save money on seed, and I'm sure most people say this, is by planning out your garden and knowing exactly what you need and buying only that. Don't buy 18 different varieties of tomato seed if you don't plan on growing tomatoes from seed. If you don't have the greenhouse space to grow 18 varieties of tomatoes, then you don't need 18 different packets of tomato seeds. And the last way that I save money on the whole gardening process is that I don't even have a greenhouse. And a lot of people would say, well, how does that save money? Well, greenhouses are expensive and most of the stuff in my garden is direct sown. The only things that we're starting in plants are things like brassicas, tomatoes, peppers, and those type of things. And six packs of vegetables run between three and four dollars for six, six plants. So when you work out the price of how many, how many I actually need in the year, let's say four times 10 packs, $40. That to me is much cheaper than spending money on a greenhouse that the plastic usually has to be replaced or you're making a huge initial investment of a glass greenhouse. This is, this is pretty nasty. If you want to learn more about starting a homestead as a millennial, starting a homestead on budget, homesteading on a small one acre homestead in Nova Scotia, then subscribe to my channel and like this video if you found these tips helpful.